Hello and welcome to this new video. Um, today we are celebrating the 160th birthday of the London Underground with a journey from Paddington Bishop's Road to Farringdon Street on the first section of the Metropolitan Line. And yeah, TWS is already open. And I'll just resume the game. Resume. And then we'll set up our train. We're driving a modern train and it's eight. Yes, it's an S8. And yeah, we activate the driver's cab or battery. Driver's cab activated. Then the lights. Lights activated. Release the brakes. The brakes are already released. Um select driving direction forward. Forward. Press the sanding bell, the horn, the windscreen wipers, and now we wait. Ah, ventilation. Ventilation activated. We are standing at Paddington Bishop's Road, which nowadays is known simply as Paddington, it was named in 1940. Um, today it isn't actually served by the Metropolitan Line, it only sees services run by the Circa and Thamesmith and City Lines. Oh, we should close the doors and depart. Probably. 959 16. Oh no, no time left. Anyway, it was renamed in 1948 to simply Paddington. The Bakerloo line also departs rather close to this station, but has a separate station. Some 60 to 100 yards away is something like that. And yeah, nowadays the station also sees Elizabeth line services and of course Heathrow Express and Great Western Railway services. This train is ready to depart. Please stand clear of the doors. Doors closed. The speed limit is 37 miles per hour. Five. The speed limit is 25 miles per hour. 15. 20. There we go. 820 yards ahead. 26. 25. We don't have announcements today because, well, obviously the trains in this time still had guards. 25. And yeah. I didn't think that a computer generated voice or recordings would be realistic in any way, shape, or form. But yeah, the next station will be. 505 yards ahead, Edgware Road. Exactly, Edgware Road. Which has never been renamed, has also opened on the 10th of January 1863, obviously. And yeah, today sees services run by the. Circle, Hamilton, City, sometimes the District Line and also Bakerloo Line separately. The Circle Line trains actually call it twice because, well, the Circle Line is kind of a frying pan nowadays, or spiral, or whatever you want to call it. It first comes from Hammersmith, running parallel to the Hammersmith and City Line, on the same tracks actually. Then it passes through Edgeware Road. 33 yards ahead. And um, after that, it runs around the city ahead. on the circle, which most people know and associate with the circle line. And after this, it stops at Edgeford Road once again, where the trains terminate and reverse. Doors opened. There we are, Edgeware Road. Not to be confused with Edgware, that's a station in the north of London on the northern line. 1021, 1030. We should depart in about a minute. 100. Okay, 100 people still left on board. Hmm. What's the weather like? The current temperature is minus 16 degrees Celsius, it is sunny. The highest temperature is minus 9 degrees Celsius, the lowest temperature is minus 16 degrees Celsius, the current wind speed is 16 miles per hour in the opposite direction to the direction of travel. Okay, computer voice. Pronunciation sometimes is kind of odd. 
but yeah, who doesn't know it? 785 yards ahead, Baker Street. Yeah, and the next station will be Baker Street. Zero. 10 to 35. Passengers are all in. Next signal, red in three yards. The signal is still red, because obviously it's still before our calculated time of departure. Next signal, red in three yards. Next signal, green in three yards. Doors closed. That's an S stock approaching in the opposite direction. The Metropolitan Line from Paddington Bishop's Road to Fountain Street opened in 1863 on the 10th of January, to be exact, so today it celebrates its 160th birthday, as I've already mentioned. Um, yeah, the route is something around 4.7 kilometers, which is 3 miles. Yeah, well, it's about 3 miles, let's say, 3 miles long. And yeah, it today forms part of the circle, ahead. spiral, frying pan, whatever you want to call it, line Next in the city. It belongs to the subsurface lines, which means that the lines are larger than for the two lines because they have been dug using the cut and cover method. Well, the people basically dug a trench and just put the cover above it. Also, no. But it wasn't. <laughs> but yeah, uh, you get the idea. Doors opened. The brakes are already released. Baker Street. Here you can change from the Metropolitan Line, which actually also serves the station today. So you have the Bakerloo Line, Circle Line, Emerson City Line, and Jubilee Lines. It's also here that the Metropolitan Line main line today joins, which has branches to Axbridge, Watford, Chesham and Amersham. And the today's Jubilee Line branch to Stanmore also belonged to the Metropolitan Line until the 1930s when it was taken over by the Bakerloo. And yeah, since the 1960s, the Jubilee Line op operates on the Stanmore branch between Stanmore and Baker Street, or rather Stanmore and Charing Cross. First, and in 1999, Charing Cross Jubilee Line was abandoned, and the line now continues to Stratford. 10 10 oh. Doors closed. Should have departed already. Next signal, green in minus 783 yards. Ah. Interesting. The signal is somewhere. Five. Yeah. That has been a bug, obviously. Next signal, red in minus 797 yards. Okay. 20. 25. 25. 892 yards ahead, Portland Road. Portland Road also can't be found on the tube map today. Today it's known as Great Portland ahead. Street. 25. It was renamed to Great Portland Street in 1917. Then to Great Portland Street and Regents Park from 1923 to 1933. And then again to Great Portland Street. Um, yeah, 1933 is kind of a significant year for the Metropolitan Line because aside from it celebrating its 70th birthday, it also was taken over by London Transport in that year. And for the first time ever, it was a real underground railway because until now the Metropolitan Line or the Met viewed itself basically as a mainline railway like the Great Western which just happened to run underground for a majority of its route in the city. So, yeah, 24. they saw themselves as really different to the you know, normal ahead. underground railways like District, the city in South Next London, in minus which forms part of today's Northern Line. And 109 yards ahead. 
lines. Yeah. Eighty-two so. yards ahead. Fifty-five yards ahead. The Metropolis has a problem with history, actually. Sixteen yards ahead. And you can find more information about. Yeah. 15 yards ahead. 15 yards ahead. 15 yards ahead the history of the line, either on Wikipedia or on Jago has its channel, which I would really recommend, because he just makes great videos, the honestly, are they are really enjoyable. Anyway, we are now standing at Portland Road, where you actually can't change to any other line, except for the subsurface ones, of course. So, yeah, still kind of the same. <laughs> 178. Train in the opposite direction. 665 yards ahead, Gower Street. Gower Street. <sighs> it's the next station, so I'm just waiting for the passengers to finish boarding. 45. Seven. Doors closed. So, the next station is Gower Street, which is today just known as Houston Square. It was renamed in 1909, and today offers an out of station interchange with Houston Underground Station and a road connection to Houston National Rail Station, where it also offers an interchange with the London Overground Watford DC line towards Watford Junction via Wilson Junction and yeah, by Queen's Park. So the line that the Bakerloo line runs on between Queen's Park and Harrow and Wilson. Two hundred and nineteen yards ahead. Twenty-four. Next signal, ready minus two thousand two hundred and ninety-seven yards. Okay, just ignore that. <laughs> yards ahead. The game didn't continue counting the signals for some reason. I don't know why, but yards ahead. yeah. Sixteen yards ahead. Opened. There we are, Gower Street. Nine hundred and twenty-eight yards ahead, King's Cross. Ten, ten, twenty-one, ten, eleven, zero. Zero. 464. Okay, we'll be able to depart in about 30 seconds. The passengers have already finished boarding, so I'll close the doors. Doors closed. Ten ten forty eight. Ten ten fifty eight. So the next station will be King's Cross, which is today known as King's Cross St. Pancras. It was also renamed in the 20th century to reflect that it is also near to the Midland Railway terminus called St. Pancras, where East Midlands Railway operates from today via the Midland Main Line. Yeah. There are also connections offered to Eurostar and Thameslink services, which actually operate parallel to the London Underground between King's Cross, St. Pancras and Farringdon. And you can change for the Bakerloo Northern yeah, not Bakerloo. No, not Bakerloo. Northern Piccadilly and Victoria lines. Aside from the three subsurface lines, which the company is already since um, yeah, Edgeware Road, it was. Or Baker Street, rather. It was the site of the King's Cross fire in the 1980s, which led to a few fatalities, actually. 
82 yards ahead. And also to a ban for all wooden escalators on the underground since the fire actually broke out a lot of the wooden escalators. But the last wooden escalator was removed until the 21st century. And it was installed somewhere in the central line, if I remember correctly, it was at Greenfield. But I wouldn't bet on that. Ask Jago has it. He knows. Or Jeff Marshall. <laughs> 10, 12, 55. 10, 13, 0. 22. Okay. We are a bit late. Doors closed. But doesn't matter. 928 yards ahead, Farringdon Street. The next section is Farringdon Street. It was first renamed to Farringdon and High Holborn, and then in 1933 to Farringdon. Even though the High Holborn bit is still rather visible on the station building, especially on the front. So, yeah. Well, that station was the last stop of the Metropolitan Line when it first opened. Speed limit change to 10 miles per hour in 437 yards ahead. 24. 547 yards ahead. Twenty-four. Speed limit change to 10 miles per hour in 219 yards ahead. 19. 328 yards ahead. 14. 11. 9. 10. 9. Speed limit change to 10 miles per hour in 50 yards ahead. 219 yards ahead. The speed limit is 10 miles per hour. Next signal, green in minus 4,156 yards. 10, 14, 48. 10, 0, 0. Okay, we won't be punctual. 109 yards ahead. But yeah, there's also a bug in here somewhere. 10, 82 yards ahead. Anyway, you see it's the beta version. By the way, if you want to join me for more information about TWS, then you can join my Discord server. The link can be found in the description below. And if you want to support me, for whatever reason, if you like what I'm doing, or things like that, don't hesitate to join my Patreon account. I would really love to see you there. The link can also be found in the description. So, yeah, we have arrived safely at Farringdon Street, and I hope you had a nice ride and uh, just shut the train down and yeah i wish you a pleasant morning afternoon evening whatever depending on when you watch this video Backward. and yeah i'd love to have you here on my channel so please subscribe join my discord and if you feel so inclined also join my patreon account links can be found below drivers cap deactivated so, yeah, have a nice day, and thank you for joining me today. Status monitor deactivated.